Activists and faith leaders were marching this afternoon in downtown Boston to call for a hearing on changing the name of Faneuil Hall. The action was part of a campaign to name the historic meeting place in honor of Crispus Attucks. The hall is currently named for its donor to the city, a merchant and philanthropist who was also a slaveholder. There is absolutely no reason why today we should be standing before a building that was named or is named the name of a slave trader. Peter Faneuil was a slave owner and there's no reason why we should be honoring slave owners, particularly their names. And where we stand right in back of City Hall, we have the mayor of City Hall, Martin J. Walsh and the city council that should be supporting the efforts of removing this name uh, through the city of Boston. One would say if you don't do that, then are you supporting slavery? As the mayor, that you have a constituency that you're supposed to serve and not dictate what policy will be. So if the will of the people is that we want the name changed, we want the name to change from Dudley Station to Nubian Station and Dudley Square to Nubian Station. And the reason why I'm here is a show of solidarity so that folks understand the fact that what's going on in the community around Dudley Square and Dudley Station is not separate from what's happening here at Faneuil Hall. And we're standing together in the name of solidarity saying to the mayor and the city that we want these racist names taken down. So uh, respectful were the city's fathers of the uh, the effort and the sacrifice of Chris McSaddix, they laid his body at Faneuil Hall. So what a fitting place uh, it would be to have uh, the name change from this hall to Chris McSaddix Hall as a tribute to um, one of the first Americans who we all should look up to. Um, Peter Faneuil may have uh, had some good uh, attributes, uh, but um, it is becoming um, so clear that um, his name should not be celebrated uh, as um, being uh, the title of a place called the Cradle of Liberty.